Hey guys, welcome back to Z Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to self activate your weather radios. And no, this does not involve an iPod. Uh, this actually involves something quite different today. And as you can see, this weird RGB thing right here. This is a FM transmitter, not like the Baofangs. This is a GMR's radio, by the way, not a regular ham radio where you can transmit on NOAA frequencies. I uh, it's this thing right here. It's FM transmitter and I'm gonna go over the steps with you guys on how to do it. It's really really simple. So step one grab your FM transmitter and make sure it's turned on. As you can see the wiring it's used it uses gum wrappers hooked up to a power supply. It's it, it turns on, it works just fine, but some people have, like, the ones where you just plug it into your device via aux, like an aux cable. I, uh, for example, and one of my friends had one, Apache Junction EAS, it was a FM transmitter where he just plugged it into the aux port of his iPod, but you can use any device, really, it does not matter. I uh, so you need to grab this, grab your weather radio you want to go on. I uh, go to your frequency settings or channel and set it to 162.440. It is set the exact same on my Midlands, both of them, and that's all I'm going to be using today. I'm not going to be using any of these because these are just up on the wall and ready to go. I uh, make sure those are on channel 1 or frequency 162.400. Next, what you want to do is turn on your radio, and this frequency will be different per FM transmitter. It's not all the same. Just go through the frequencies until you hear if until you don't hear static anymore. It'll just sound like quiet. And go through your frequencies on the FM transmitter until you get it until it just sounds like nothing's happening because nothing is happening and then when you are done with that it your weather radios are now receiving stuff from your fm transmitter and is ready to go so this one it is a the on car bluetooth fm transmitter it i got it at walmart for about like five bucks a while ago i was gonna use it for my car but then i got like an actual I uh, stereo and everything for my car, so I don't need this anymore. I uh, if your way of connecting it, if it's aux or Bluetooth, which this one's Bluetooth, just connect it to whatever your device you're trying to um, play it or whatever device you're trying to send audio from. Like for example, my laptop over here, it is connected to the FM transmitter. And another thing you got to make sure to do, make sure the volume is not up all the way or else it's just going to absolutely break and have problems. It sounds really, really bad. It, and it just kind of sounds like static, but worse. So make sure it's like around the 70 mark-ish. And if that's still too loud, just turn it back down or turn it down until the radio can hear it or um, it just sounds normal. So don't have the volume up way too high. And then if you want, you can listen to it being sent through, which I'm going to do for the sake of this video to show you guys that this actually works. So I'll be setting my radios off for a tornado warning. This is the video right here. This includes the new uh, alerts, like the blue alert, which is not on all radios yet. But for some reason, it is not on this 120B, but it is, it is on this 120B. This is not the new DSP. This is like the regular 120B. I don't know why this one has it, but that one doesn't. But I'll be shutting it off for a tornado warning now. Make sure the Bluetooth is connected and then just hit play on the same radio you're trying to play. Hit pause. As you can see... Oh, there we go. It all went off. As you can see, tornado warning. TOR, that one's broken. You guys probably know that. Uh, and then tornado warning. 
Uh, the fault effective time for this video is 15 minutes for most of the alerts. Uh, some of them are like 6 hours for some reason, but yeah. That'll, the video will be linked in the description that I'm using. So, as you can see, it works. And no, before you ask, this is not illegal. You are technically not transmitting on the NOAA frequencies. I'm not sure why this works, doing it over an FM transmitter, but it works. And I'm not sure why it works, but it works. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you can hook it up to a Bluetooth device or have the custom audio files, you can make, like, fake alerts go off on your radios. I did it before, like, that civil danger warning one. I'm going to put it in the what tag or whatever it's called at the top right. Um, yeah, I just threw together some audio in Premiere Pro used an EAS encoder to make the EAS uh, headers that make the radios go off. And then that's how I made that video. So if you guys want me to go through a tutorial on how to do that, um, the EAS encoder and also the voice text Paul thing. I don't know. Is it Paul or Tom? I can't remember. I don't know. But there was an older one. It was named Paul or Tom. I don't remember. But I'm relatively new to EAS stuff. I started like July 2023 is when I started doing EAS stuff. <clears throat> not bad also not also but fm transmitter weather radio set it to 162.400 and you're golden and ready to go self-activating your weather radios by the way this isn't very far range it basically just i'll just say it goes about your room like it'll only go off about like or radios within your room will i uh, receive the audio being played from this because it doesn't work if you're too far from it which is nice so you're not like accidentally self-activating other weather radios that are in other people's houses that are on the same frequency if they're hooked up to a NOAA transmitter that's i uh, that is using that channel so yeah that's pretty much it super simple uh, not very expensive if you don't have one, but it's like five bucks at Walmart. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere, but that's pretty much it. I will leave you guys off here, and you guys go have fun with this. You're welcome, and bye.